Uh, my name is Polizois Makras. I'm endocrinologist and I'm based in Athens, Greece. So um, I, I run the reference center for a, a rare disease called Langerhans cell histiocytosis and I'm taking care of adult patients as well as patients with uh, a, another non-Langerhans histiocytosis which is called Erheim Chester disease. So these are, um, both of them are rare diseases. For example, in, um, for Langerhans cell histiocytosis we have measured the incidence, the annual incidence in, in Greece. It's around 1.6 new patients every year for million uh, of the general population. So, for example, for a country like Greece, we expect 16 new patients. Uh, this is uh, what I'm doing. And, uh, and I'm endocrinologist, as I already told you, but uh, the majority of these patients have endocrinological problems. That's why you see an endocrinologist taking care of these patients and running a reference uh, uh, center uh, in, uh, in Athens. These diseases uh, are due to uh, rare mutations of uh, uh, normal cells. For example, Langerhans cell is a normal cell. It's a, 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 um, a cell of our defense mechanism. So whenever they have a, a mutation, then they get, uh, they accumulate and uh, uh, they can uh, invade and they can infiltrate almost every organ. So they have a predilection for, uh, for example, in adults for Langerhans cell histocytosis or LCH as we call it. There is a specific predilection for a pituitary gland or uh, for uh, the um, skin, bones and uh, lungs. So uh, there is no specific pattern. It has to do with the infiltrations patients get. Well, they, it depends uh, from their symptoms and the, extension, the extent of their disease. We try to treat symptoms, for example, it, to alleviate uh, the symptoms, and then we uh, and we also try to treat the disease per se. Uh, so if we find the mutation, there is also always the option to give a, a drug specific, uh, um, uh, let's say, a drug specific um, treatment for the mutation. If uh, we don't find any mutation or um, no, uh, th uh, there is no availability for the use of this kind of uh, uh, treatment, then we can use uh, general uh, treatment like, um, for example, methotrexate or we can gi give chemotherapy such as cladribine, uh, RAC, this kind of treatments we use. And um, sometimes in uh, pulmonary disease we can use steroids but not for a long time because uh, adults for example I'm not and I have to say that I'm, I'm talking only about adults because I'm an adult physician physician for, for adults uh, so and um, we don't use steroids that much because uh, then we have the um, let's say consequences of long steroid treatment we try to uh, um, either treat the symptoms or uh, treat the disease per se and uh, if we find the mutation now they, there are some um, uh, specific uh, uh, treatments for, uh, for the mutations for example the majority of these patients have a, a, uh, a mutation called in the BRAF gene BRAF V600E so we treat them for example with uh, anti-BRAF uh, agents or we are using chemotherapy if uh, we don't find uh, any any um, mutation. This this is the general um, idea of how uh, we treat patients, and uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, prevent the disease. We don't know when it's going to happen, and usually the patient uh, the patients came with a diagnosis to us. only histologically, I mean after a biopsy. Uh, sometimes we have some um, specific patterns in um, radiological exams, but we cannot be certain unless we have a, a, histologically, uh, exa a histological examination. So we definitely need 
uh, uh, tissue. So tissue is the issue, as we say, for this disease. So we uh, and for all, all other uh, diseases. Um, so we have to have a, a, a definite diagnosis before starting treatment. Here at Dendo, I, I think that um, I haven't seen any any poster or presentation about this rare disease. But there is a booth for red Chester disease, which is and uh, the society for red Chester is quite um, let's say um, they they. Uh, they are very much interested in in, uh, in raising awareness for the disease and providing information to the physicians and they are much active and um, they are really good I mean in what they are doing and the Istio, uh, Istio Science Society is also a very uh, important association and uh, I think they are both uh, the associations for this disease are very active and they are trying to raise awareness among physicians and uh, of course among uh, patients.